welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss the summary for chapter 1 physical quantities and measurement so for this chapter we have two subtopics the first subtopic is the dimension of physical quantities and the second subtopic is scalar and vectors let us start Dimension of physical quantities. Dimension is defined as the technique or method which physical quantity can be expressed in terms of combination of basic quantities. Okay, so here we have a uh, basic quantities okay we have seven one two three four five six basic quantities okay so what is the SI unit and also dimension okay so let us go through together dimension for uh, length is the capital L and the unit is in meter okay for mass unit for mass is in kg dimension for mass is capital M Time unit is second. Dimension for time is capital T. Electric current, the unit we write it as ampere. Dimension is A, capital A or capital I. Both also acceptable. Temperature T, unit as ice is Kelvin. Okay, so the dimension for temperature is theta. Amount of sustained N. Unit SI is in mole and the dimension is capital N. Okay, so these are the, uh, the basic quantities and the dimensions that you need to know. Okay, next one, the principle of homogeneity. Okay, so if we want to say the dimension is homogeneity, meaning that dimension on your uh, left hand side, left hand side must equal to the dimension for right hand side. Okay, so meaning that if let's say left hand side is in uh, capital M, so your dimension on your right hand side also must be in capital M. Eh? Okay, meaning that both must be same dimension. Okay, next we go to scalar and also vector. Okay, so we have uh, three dimension here: x component, x exit, y exit, and also z exit. Okay, so sometimes you can write x exit, we, we can use it, you can write in a unit vector. Okay, so if we write i, vector i, meaning that your component is moved in the x direction. Okay, y we write as j, okay, vector, unit vector in j. Okay, z we can write as vector, vector k. Solving vector. Okay, so if the questions give you a magnitude, okay, a magnitude here, so you can resolve it into x and also y component. Okay, so what should we do is we can draw a, a triangle. Okay, so for example, let's say they give you a magnitude here. Okay, so what should you do is you can resolve it into x component. Also, y component. Okay, you draw a triangle. So this is your x component, and this one is your y component. Okay. So you can use trigo to find the value for x component and also y component. So as we know, if the theta at here, okay, sine theta is equals to sine theta is equals to opposite. Opposite meaning your y over your hypotenuse okay let's say i label it as p okay so it's y over p okay cos theta okay is equals to adjacent okay beside so it's x over hypotenuse so when you want to find ax uh, ax meaning at here ax x component so our ax we rearrange back uh, this one ax is equals to p the hypotenuse 
cos theta and ay will equal to p sine theta okay so usually when you want to resolve a vectors okay it will involve uh, five steps step number one is you need to find the x component step two you need to resolve it into y component step three you need to find the magnitude by using theorem pythagoras okay where theorem pythagoras is equal to ax square plus a y square square root okay so you can find the magnitude okay step number four is you must use tangent theta to find the to find the uh, angle the direction so from the three goal tangent theta is equal to opposite opposite is let's say here is your y over x okay so therefore your theta will equal to arc tangent y over y over x okay okay so this one is the basic angle that we will get and later step number five you need to determine at which quadrant okay at which quadrant the angle is uh, available okay so let, for example let's say here for this case is let's say your x is positive your y is positive so meaning that your x is to the right and your y is upward Okay, because it's positive, positive. So we know that it is at quad the first quadrant. The resultant x is positive, y is positive. So you will get at the first quadrant. Okay, if x is positive, y negative, meaning that x is positive, y is moving downward. So it will at fourth quadrant. Okay, the third one if x negative. And also your y negative, so our basic angle at third quadrant. And the last one, x negative, y positive upward. Okay, so we will get our basic angle at the second quadrant. So it actually depends on the resultant x and the y component. Scalar quantity and vector quantity you already learned during the secondary school, where scalar quantities only involve magnitude. Okay, so meaning that we are not consider the direction. So example, such as mass, distance, speed, what else? Our work done, okay, and so on. So vector quantities, meaning that we consider not only magnitude, we also consider the direction as well. Okay, so meaning that we need to consider the direction okay for example weight okay displacement so therefore we need to consider the sign conventions huh? okay velocity what else force momentum and so on okay so all these quantities uh, you need to consider the magnitude and also the direction okay and last one is the dot and cross product okay so dot and cross product we have a dot and cross product so dot product is a and b are parallel okay so we can write it as a vector a dot vector b okay is equal to the magnitude of a times magnitude of B cos theta okay because it's a cos product uh, it's a dot product okay and dot product actually is a scalar quantity meaning that the answer will only give you the magnitude without directions okay so for example let's say I dot I or J dot J or K dot K you will get 1 okay but if let's say different vector unit vector for example i dot j or i dot k or j dot k for example you will get zero okay so for example let's say two i two uh, i plus five j okay let's say this is our a vector a dot 
B. B is, for example, let's say 1J, 1I minus 2J. So this is vector B. So the answer you will get is, okay, I, 2I and I, you will get 2I square, 2I with negative 2J, you will get negative 4IJ. Okay. And then, 5J with 1I. So, you will get 5JI. 5J times negative 2J. So, you get negative 10J squared. Okay. So, A dot B, you will get 2I squared. I dot I, you will get 1. So, you will get 2 i dot j i dot j here i dot j you will get zero so it's zero okay this one is zero this one also zero okay negative 10 j squared j square you will get okay? j dot j you will get one so you get 10 okay so a dot b the answer is 2 minus 10 so you get negative 8 okay so they will give you the magnitude negative 8 okay so this is the dot product Okay, next, let us go to a cross product. So, a cross product is A and B, vector A and vector B are perpendicular. Or, we can write it as A cross B equals to A, B, sine, theta. Okay, so the product is a vector quantity meaning that it will give you the magnitude and also the direction as well okay so i cross i or j cross j you or k cross k you will get zero okay the many however i cross j or j cross k or k cross i okay uh, this one it will give you the direction okay so how we know okay we draw first let's say this is vector i y exit is vector j z exit is vector uh, vector k okay so if i cross j you will get positive k if J cross K, you will get I. Okay, if K cross I, you will get J. Okay, so this is like an anti-clockwise. However, okay, if we want to move in anti-clockwise. Okay, so for example, let's say, let's say move in anti-clockwise, J cross I. J cross I, okay, you will get J cross I, you will get negative K uh, because it's anti clockwise. Okay, I cross, okay, here I cross K, you will get negative J. Okay, then K cross J. you will get negative i okay uh, so this is a cross product okay so for example let's say uh, similar just now 2i plus 5j cross uh, if let's say this is a cross b and your b is 1i minus 2j so 2i cross 1i i squared 2i cross negative 2j okay so it's negative 4 i cross j okay and then 5 cross 5j cross so is probably 5ij and then 5 times across uh, 5j so you get 10 j 
squared. Okay, so we must refer back. This now i cross i is zero. So this one is equal to zero. Minus four i cross j. I cross J, if you refer here, I cross J, I cross J, you will get K. Yeah? So this one is 4K. Okay. Uh, so this one is uh, actually is wrong. This one should be 5J cross J cross I. Yeah? So this is J cross I. Yeah? So J cross I, you will get negative K. Okay, and then j square you will get zero. So finally, you will get negative four k, negative five k. So it's negative nine k. Okay, so the magnitude is nine, and the direction is negative k. Okay, so this is a dot product and cross product. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.